so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and google has just now dropped a fantastic research paper that is mixture of recursions which looks to be an advanced version of a transformer for llms so in this video we would be talking about what is mixture of recursions how it is used what's the architecture what are its advantages disadvantages and other things so let's get started so first of all before we jump on to mixture of recursions we need to understand the limitations of a transformer architecture the first and the foremost one being uniform compute so if you have a very simple token to predict compared to a very complex token to predict right like for example the next token to predict is the while in a second case the next token to predict is buckingham obviously the first token is more difficult so in that case the compute should not be uniform but in case of transformer the time taken for computing the is the same as time taken to compute buckingham this should not be happening parameter bloat separate weights are used for each layer that is getting used now in transformer the architecture is huge so in that case this leads to massive models inefficient inference and kv cash bottleneck because we are storing separate weights for each layer kv key value pairs stored for all tokens are at all layers now before we jump on to mixture of recursions we need to understand what is recursive transformer so instead of using separate layers at each level that is layer 1 layer 2 layer 3 as you can see in recursive transformer we are using same block so a block is a collection of layers that is getting repeated every time as you can see block a block a block a in that case the parameters are getting used are same throughout the block so you just need to train one block set of parameters instead of 24 blocks makes sense so as you can understand when we are using recursive transformer the weights that are trained are very less the model size is less it becomes more efficient now we will jump on to mixture of recursions what google deepmind has released right now is that adaptive token level computation so for some of the tokens as you saw if i go back to the previous slide recursive transformer one limitation that you would have assumed is again the concept goes to simple and complex token if the next token to predict is the which is quite easy you won't require to repeat block a multiple times you might just want it to repeat it couple of times it should get the prediction while in case of a more complex token this block should get repeated more times this is what mixture of recursion is doing so in case of a simple token it might go through just one recursion in case of a medium complexity token it might go for two recursions the block weights are getting repeated twice while in case of complex token very highly complex problem uh, the blocks should be getting repeated multiple times right weight sharing is happening because once you are using same layer weights you reuse multiple times dynamic routing the router decides recursion depth per token so what does this mean so which token for a given token how many times the recursion should happen is done by a neural network called as token router Selective KV cache, only cache tokens still in processing. Like for example, three tokens are getting predicted as you can see in the example. Simple token taking one recursion, medium token taking two and complex token taking four. In that case, a KV cache for the first token should end up at the first recursion itself. I have already covered what is KV cache, so do check it out in the previous video. Adaptive compute. More compute would be required for complex tokens while less for simpler ones. This is the whole idea. Dynamic token routing. So this is the core of the paper. Dynamic token routing. So as you can understand from the example, if for example, a simple token comes in, the and a, it might be going through just couple of recursions and then an early exit. While in case of a complex token, the recursion might be getting thrice more than the simple tokens and then getting completed makes sense so depending upon the complexity of the token the blocks would be getting repeated the recursion would be happening multiple times and how many times for a token 
uh, the recursion should happen that is decided using router which is a neural network now routing mechanisms there are two approaches that has been discussed in the paper one is an expert choice other is a token choice so it's quite easy to understand as you can see in case of expert choice after every recursion you are deciding which token should go in the next recursion so token a token b token c router at recursion one continue exit continue so assume that after first recursion token b is now getting predicted so it will get it will exit the recursion now but the other two will continue similarly after a second recursion it might be the case token a is also quite simple but token c still continues this is how expert choice routing works while in case of token choice routing each token decides its recursion depth just once in the beginning so uh, in case of expert choice you are deciding the recursion length after every recursion while in case of token choice you are deciding you are pre-deciding before jumping into the recursion part it is more simple less adaptive during processing while in case of expert choice the dynamic decision happens at each level saving compute risk of causality leaks this is mentioned in the paper kv cache optimization this is also very important in case of mixture of recursion this is a little complicated video so i would suggest you to stop a bit on the diagrams and understand carefully so uh, recursion wise caching only cache kv pairs for active tokens quite straightforward so for example uh, we are going with two tokens token a and token b one is simple one is complex after recursion 2 token a is now predicted so kv caching for token 2 won't be maintained for recursion 3 and recursion 4 while for token B, which is more complex, whose recursion is still going on, KV cache will be maintained. While in case of recursive KV sharing, cache in the beginning and reuse it across recursions. It is very uh, usual. now. Why mixture of recursions matter? It is very important. One is weight sharing. As you are using the same stack of layers because of recursive transformers that we discussed earlier, we are using the same stack of layers, lesser parameters adaptive compute for every token you are deciding how many recursions are required hence fewer wasted flops and selective kv caching hence less memory used also so the bottom line is smaller models cheaper compute less memory same or better performance now a very important slide here to understand the difference between mixture of recursion and mixture of experts so i think you might have heard of this term moe quite frequently in different papers even kimi k2 and deep seek v3 are following this architecture only so the core concept of mixture of expert is route tokens to different parts of the model so the entire model is not getting used makes sense so if you see here there is a router present and within the model there are multiple experts present so if token a requires expert one only that part of the model gets activated while in case of mixture of recursion there is a shared layer block and recursion happens right these are a little different and recursion depends upon the token so here you can see that core concept is route tokens to different experts assign different recursion depths these are two different things scaling dimension mixture of expert is width more expert mixture of recursion is depth more recursions it Parameter efficiency, many separate expert parameters, single shared parameter set is present. Now talking about the architecture comparison, vanilla transformer, mixture of experts and mixture of recursion. Talking about the parameter usage, I think for vanilla transformer, it's fixed and it's very high. While in case of mixture of experts, it's sparse, but experts expand width. So depending on which expert is getting used, only those weights would be activated. Mixture of recursion, even the parameters are fixed here also because see, you are repeating the same block again and again, right? So you know the parameters. Compute allocation, uniform for all tokens, token export selection and token recursion depth. Memory footprint for vanilla transformer, large KV, we all know it. Mixture of experts, large again because of many experts are present while in case of mixture of recursion, it is quite selective. It's slim engineering effort 
vanilla transformer is mature everyone understands it mixture of experts i would also say people understand it now sharding and load balancing has to be mentioned while in case of mixture of recursions it is comparatively simpler i would say because a single weight has to be maintained and a simple router is required scaling dimension vanilla transformer is depth while mixture of expert is width you add more experts right while in case of mixture of recursions also it is depth talking about performance gain i think it's quite important as you can see the model size reduces drastically about uh three times it is getting smaller inference speed is also getting faster about two times and memory reduction is 25% less memory usage is there limitations of mixture of experts so there is not just all the things are green some things are shady as well token choice routing limitations too blunt lacks flexibility during processing kv sharing accuracy is a trade off memory saving comes at a cost fixed routing capacity routing decision frozen after training and small model performance it might not work well with small models so if you have a big model then only mixture of recursions may work fine evolution of ai architectures as you can see from 2010 to 17 it was traditional neural networks from 17 to 24 it's transformers 24 to 26 it's mixture of experts as you know and now in 2026 plus it would be adaptive ai coming in so as you can see rethinking neural computation a paradigm shift in ai architectures which is very important i would say because trans, tra, limits of transformers are now getting exposed and we require some great architectures to come in to counter that and i think mor that is mixture of recursion is doing that smarter resource allocation is required parameter efficiencies as you can read here 118 million parameter mor outperforms 315 million transformer and faster inferencing with this it's a wrap i hope you got a essence of the paper what they're trying to do here mixture of recursions and it's a very interesting idea i would suggest you to go through the paper also to understand it in quite some depth thank you so much